Let's talk about Tom Brady for just a minute. And Tom Brady came out on Instagram. Now, obviously, he was he was at the Hall of Fame enshrinement. He quoted he was quoted as saying that he just wanted to make sure that Peyton Manning was retiring. He he couldn't afford to see that guy come back to football, so that's why he was going. But he posted on, I think it was Instagram. He posted a link to Forbes. It says the average value of NFL franchises up fourteen uh, up fourteen percent despite revenue drop topped by Dallas Cowboys, and he put in there. The salary cap dropped by 20%, and the new media deals were announced the day after 2021 salary cap was set, which it was actually a week later, but that's beside the point. NFL players better wake up, and then he tags the NFL Players Association. He said, NFL players are ignorant. It, he's he's lashing out at both the players and the NFLPA. He, I think he wanted to see the NFLPA negotiate a better collective bargaining agreement, which is what you and I were talking about when we talked about some of the Josh Allen stuff. This is nuts that they were able to get this pushed through the NFL, get everything done, everything set, and then a week later announce a new TV deal that brought in 112 billion dollars over however many years, and and the like the value of these teams has skyrocketed. It went up 14 percent in the middle of a pandemic, like that's insane. I understand where he's coming from. I think that he is much more confident. In, or maybe more comfortable. How's that? He's more comfortable with letting his opinions out now that he is not in New England. Because in New England, you don't want all the distractions. You don't want all that. And I don't think that he necessarily wants it now. But the older that he's gotten, he feels comfortable enough coming out and saying, yo, this was a terrible deal for you. Like, I'm at the back end of my career. This was dumb. Why did y'all sign this, et cetera? Give me, give me your thoughts on this one. Yeah, I mean, I, I I do think he's right. I do think he's one hundred percent right in the sense that the I, I, that's what I talked about earlier. The NFLPA just bends over and takes whatever the league gives them. They don't want to get into any quarrels with them or problems with them or fights with them or whatever. And I don't know why. Like, I'm I'm glad for labor peace, I guess, in my opinion. And and I want I, my my issue is this: the players have been doing this for the last. 10 years they are renegotiating to have less power and less influence over the way the game is played and their own personal situations within the game whether they get in trouble or something of that nature and all they want is more money and less work more money less practice time yes and and that's that's all they care that those are the only two platforms that they have negotiated from and the league owners know it. And the league owners are like, I don't give a shit if you don't ever practice. But if you don't win, I'm going to just cut you and find somebody who will. Okay? But at some point in time, these guys have to start standing up and not being taken advantage of by the league. The league like I told you, I think the salary cap this year dropped like it 11%, 15%, something like that. Because it's based off of previous year's revenues, and you look at the revenues because they didn't get to sell ticket gate last year, concessions, all the money that that goes into those types of things, and so they dropped the salary cap for this coming season, twenty twenty one, and what what does that mean? Let's let's get this locked in before re- reports of this new massive TV deal come in, because if you find out they're getting a big ass TV deal. You, you're the players' union. You should be able to say no, no. We're not dropping. We're not dropping it. The 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 eleven percent or fifteen percent or whatever it is. You can you can amortize your loss over the you know next several years of the new TV deals that you got. Okay, but we're not we're not going to take a cut. And I think if they stand their ground, I think they win that battle. By the way, yes, I think so. I don't too. even think I don't even think that the 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 owners bought too hard at it. No, at the at but the I end of the day. Think about the amount of money that we're talking about here. Like we're going from two hundred million down to one hundred eighty-two million, or, or roundabout, right? And that's eighteen million to twenty million per team. If they'd kept it at two hundred, or just it set it at two hundred million for this season, because they expected to go back up to two hundred eight million in twenty twenty-two. If they had sure. kept it at that, that's more guys getting paid more money. That is guys that have been cut that would have been playing, just all all sorts of different things that go into effect that protects the players more so. And this year, they drop it to 182. But 
twenty million a team for billionaires? Like we are not talking about anything crazy. And you are going to see a renaissance season as far as fans in the stands this fall, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, you're going to make it back. They're going to they're going to make they're going to make the gate up plus plus a ton more. A because I'm I'm pretty sure they're going to increase all the pricing for everything. So 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 take take the fact that they're going to have more more fans in the seats than they've ever had on top and, and more more you know paraphernalia being sold you know jerseys t-shirts bull crap like that all of that being sold more than it's ever been sold and it's also all going to go up i don't know 12 percent in cost uh because this is what everything else is going up around us as it, it's it's kind of a kind of an amazing thing you know i i appreciate the fact that tom's not afraid to say these things at the end of his career uh, just, just because it, the changes aren't going to mess with him, they're not going to hurt him at all. And and here's what's weird. This is why, this is why I think the league, PA, doesn't doesn't fi- they're not fighting for the uh, the salary cap as hard as as they should, is because the PA is made up. The majority of them are made up of mid level players. Okay, you're not talking about all the stars in the world here, and you're damn sure not talking about all the quarterbacks. Okay, all right, they make up a small percentage of what the PA is because it's just one position. All right. Well, what we have seen is if the salary cap goes from 182 to 200 thousand dollars, 200 million dollars. All right. All of the players on the team aren't getting a little bit of a raise. The quarterback's just going to make $12 million more. And that's what we're seeing is only a few good players are getting the difference in money. As the salary cap has raised, I don't know that the league minimum has changed much. I'm going to bet that mid-level, mid-tier veteran that plays on the team, I'm going to bet their salary hasn't changed a lot, even though – the uh, the prices keep going up and up and up, strictly because all of the bigger money is just going to the few stars on the team. Those guys are getting paid more money than they've ever gotten before, and it's really hard for everybody in the NFLPA who makes it up, who's going to vote on this, to vote and hold the owners' feet to the fire for more money to go into the pie of the NFLPA when the majority of all that money is going to go to such a small percentage of players. It's yeah. not a rising tide floats all boat. No, you're, I think, I think you're right about that. I think you're right. There is a big portion of that. I, I remember Pat McAfee talking multiple times about he, he declined membership to the NFLPA at the, the last few years of his uh, career, I guess, because he, he hated the way they went about it. He thought that he could do things his own way. And he did. Like, he, he sold his own merch. He did his own stuff. He signed his own agreements without having to go through the PA. And he just thought that it was really strange that everybody just kind of, you know, gives over a little portion of their check and lets them do whatever they want to when it hardly ever worked out in the players' favor. Like, the NFL PA, well, for whatever reason, has never really never really worked all that well, you know? But, but hang on now. It works well for Dak Prescott. It works well for Josh Allen. Yeah, like, yeah. But, like it's worked well for Aaron Rodgers. Like the guys that are getting the top end money, that's who it works out for. Everybody in the middle, it ain't worked out for any of them. Their life is no different today than it was ten years ago. I'm gonna bet the pay raises that they've gotten, if you if you do the evaluation on what inflation has done in our country over the last two, three years, I'm gonna bet it's actually eroded to be a smaller percentage of money than it used to be. You might be because right about they're that. not getting the extra yeah. twenty million dollars to every team. Every team that has twenty million bucks to, extra to spend, they're giving twelve of it to the quarterback. That's why the quarterback pay went from thirty million to forty-two million in two years. It's just an absurd number. And so <laughs> then you take the absurd. other, you know, six uh. million dollars floating around or eight million dollars floating around. You might spread that between your three biggest players. Yeah. So you got a you know, yeah. 53-man roster, 63-man roster with practice squad, and and you're you're looking at, you're looking at you know a bunch of guys. They're not going to see any of this pay raise. They don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. You are not wrong. I mean, this is yeah, it's it's really nuts. But I am glad that Brady actually you know is comfortable enough to point this crap out at this point. 
it, because it's it's insane. And and now they've got this collective bargaining agreement that is signed for uh, what? How long? Ten years? Is it ten years? Uh, I I didn't see the length of the term or whatever. I, I do know that the the dollars are going to go up though because as these new TV deals come in, you know it's these salary caps are going to get stupid high. Oh yeah, but we're, we're like going to reach two hundred fifty million. Yeah, yeah. Call call me call me when your third best offensive lineman sees any of that extra money. If you've got a guy that's making six million dollars today, I, I'm going to bet by the end of this year at at you know where this thing is going up to two hundred fifty million dollars. I'm going to bet that same quality of player, they might be getting $8 million. Like, they might see a little bit of it, but they're not going to see enough of it to to really change anything. Well, no, I mean, what you'll end up seeing is, you know, at Baker Mayfield and Lamar Jackson may be holding out for, you know, they might want a $300 million contract. If they find <laughs> out that uh, that it's going to turn into, you know, where Josh Allen got $258 million over six years, that's like 41 yep. whatever million per season or $43 million yeah, per season. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like $42 million, yeah. uh, you know, a year, $43 million a year. Like, why not shoot for 50 Like, if you know that this yeah, thing's right. going to eventually why, get to 250 you know, who, why not? Who else are they going to give that extra $20 million to? It, it just, just the guys why that not protect give you. Give it all to me. <laughs> give it all to me. Give it all to me. I love it. I love it. All right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.